one, take two. Welcome to our floss tube. I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty. This is Stryker, one of my Scotty dogs. And this is floss tube number 163. And today is March the 9th, 2024. And it's a Saturday evening. Uh, don't forget to turn your clocks back. <clears throat> okay, I would really like to thank everyone for watching my video. Uh, if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do that. We're trying to get 2,000 subscribers. When we do that, I'll have a big giveaway. And um, share it with your friends. I'd love to, you know, uh, have 2,000 subscribers and get have a big giveaway. Okay. Um, I would like to also thank um, Penny's Michelle from Penny's Daughter Shares for the shout-out this week. I watched her last video, and she's trying to have 50 starts this year. And she's got some beautiful pieces, some Brenda Gervais pieces, some Blackbird pieces. I mean, they're just gorgeous. So you need to like watch that. And Penny is very, very, she's a, a big finisher. She likes to finish everything. She had 50 fully finished objects last year. Wasn't that exciting? So I will link that below. And I just wanna thank you, Michelle, for shouting me out. And also I would like to thank Tara at Sully Stitches for shouting me out in her floss tube number three. She does a lot of Brenda Gervais and uh, Blackbirds and things. So uh, you need to go watch those. She does a lot of samplers too. And uh, she, she's got a good video and just like Michelle does. So be sure and check them out. Then I would also like to tell you, I watched Lori from Once Upon a Stitch this week. And I'm still behind Lori. I'm trying to catch up. Um, I saw all the uh, finishes that you have in your box or wherever you keep them or on hangers, you said. They are gorgeous and all your pieces are like huge. Oh, you need to go watch Lori, Once Upon a Stitch, and I will link that below. She is the sweetest lady. I wish I could meet her in person. I wish she lived closer. But um, anyway, be sure and watch them. <clears throat> Then I would also like to uh, thank Jen, Jennifer and Carol from Two Tall Stitchers um, for, and, and Michelle for putting on the uh, hashtag FFO Challenge 2024. And I will talk about that in just a little bit because I have got some more FFOs to share. So Stryker's gonna say hello, Grandma Jeanette, Belinda, and Stephanie. It's good to see you all. Can you tell I've had a haircut? All right, see you later, buddy. Okay, Winston had one too, but Stryker only got half a haircut. I didn't show the rest of him. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you so much. We've got a free pattern coming up. We've got some works in progress or whips. Um, we've got a tool of the week. I've got the Etsy shop that I forgot last week. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I've also got some market haul from Nashville Needlework Market. I didn't go, I just ordered. And um, so let's get started. Oh, and I have a save the stitch and I have happy mail. So first I would like to share, well, this first one is just a happy gift because I got this from a, a coworker and she just started cross stitching and her name is Catherine. She's so sweet and I've known her family for years and she gave me these two needle threaders and they are just so cute and if you want to know where to get them they're at, she got them on amazon i made sure i asked and they're in different colors and you can see the little eyes that you put your thread through and then you stick it through the needle those are just awesome you can never have too many needle threaders and those are even good for beading needles so when you have to do your beading, because the eye on that needle is really small, or when you sew on like the Just Another Button Company buttons, really, really good to have. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Um, then I also would like to say uh, thank you so much, Kara. I was having a day, and it was just like, oh, tired, you know. It was just one thing after another, little things, you know. And I get home and in my mailbox was this big envelope and I'm thinking, I didn't order anything. 
And lo and behold, what did I see? But a nice, sweet little note from Kara saying that when she found this, she thought of me. Isn't that sweet? And I haven't seen her since last June at StitchCon. And look what she got me. Lots of Scotties. And it's a leisure art pattern. Isn't that cute? I love this little basket. Uh, look at the mom and dad Scotty and the two little Scotties behind it. Just adorable. Thank you, thank you so much, Kara. Between Catherine and Kara, I really appreciate it. And I also want to shout out Kara. She has an Instagram account. It's at Crafty Kara. And sometimes she'll post things like bags or t-shirts or something. And they're very, very cute. Um, she had, I've got one that says, I stitch a latte. And I wished I had thought and I'd gotten it out and showed it to you because it's just adorable. But hopefully she's got some. I haven't checked lately. Haven't had a lot of time. But be sure and follow Kara on Instagram. Catherine, I don't think, has an Instagram. But um, if she does get one and lets me share it, I will be glad to. But thank you, ladies. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's get started. Okay, first I had a full, I had a finish and I also had an FFO because when I finished it, it was FFO'd because it was already ready. All I had to do was sew on the acorn and some buttons to finish, to fully finish it. This is my Lizzy K scissor case and this was an acorn scissor case and the scissors they said were not included, but this is not precious. And here's the little acorn that I sewed on and it's got like a little zipper and it was lined and everything. And all you have to do, oops, I left some thread in here. Uh, all you have to do is just stick your th scissors in there. And see, this just lifted up, this band, and you just sewed on it. And this, I think, is 32 count. And I used two strands over two. And then it included the button and the charm and the acorn and the um, leather um, piece. But that is a finish and an FFO. So, fun, fun, fun. <clears throat> All right, next, and if you want this, I don't know if it's available yet, but I bet 123Stitch will have it sooner or later. All right, next, I had a pattern from Bent Creek, and it was on the 18 count natural linen. I think it was the cork linen. And, um... I found a plaque online. Oh, you stitched this with pearl cotton. And I found a plaque online from Collins Fresh and Original. It's collinspainting.com. And it's wall decor. And look at this. I mounted the little turkey on there. And I used some Rick Rack Grace Green from Lady, Dot's Create, Lady Dot Creates. And I used one strand of the pearl cotton over two threads. And it says Gobble Wobble. I think it's so cute. And then I, I've got the little hole here and I can choose to hang it. And this was already printed on it. And that's what drew me to it. I thought, oh, this would be perfect. Just so cute. But uh, it was a kit from Bent Creek. And I'm not sure if it's available or not. You'll have to check with the Bent Creek, Rep. Bent Creek website. I know they have just released a whole bunch of their stuff, re-released it. So, hopefully, it is available. Okay, and here's the um, Grace Green from Lady Dot Creates. That's the Rick Rack. <clears throat> All right, next, um, I also had a Blackbird piece, and there's a book. And it's um, all Halloween things. It's just a small little booklet. And uh, I don't know if that's available anymore or not either. But this is called Tricks or Treat. And it's got the crow with the one leg, it looks like. But its other leg is here. And uh, I finished this. And uh, put the rickrack on it. I painted this. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And, uh, yeah. This is on... I don't know what colored linen, but it's on 32 count, and I used two strands over two. So, it was a lot of fun to do. 
So there's that one. And I used Jack Rick Rack from Lady Dot Creates. And uh, it was it was really, really, really fun. Then I had a Save the Stitch. I, I occasionally, because everybody knows I cross stitch, they will give me, uh, you know, cross stitch from people that either can't see to cross stitch or they just don't want to cross stitch anymore or they've passed. Uh, in this case, this lady was not able to cross stitch anymore. And uh, I found two pieces in there. And so far I've been able to save one of them. And this is the one I've been able to save. This is called, I guess it's called Grandmas Are Great. I've never seen the pattern. Uh, there was not a pattern in there. And so what I did was I cut it down and I put some uh, vintage cherry fabric on it. And this was done with JP Coats Embroidery Floss, six strand, the cotton. And this is Grandmas Are Great. And that's how I finished it. I just put like little uh, one and a half inch borders on the side and I got interfacing on the back and then I always put interfacing on my pillows because you know this fabric it can ravel so you want to make sure that you've got it and then I just whip stitched it on the bottom so I'm going to give that to uh, the family this week and or at least offer it to them and see if they want it and I'm pretty sure they'll want something that you know um, her mother has made and uh, you know, the granddaughter will probably want this also when she gets older. So I thought they might enjoy that. And this is on 14 Count Ada with J.P. Coates uh, embroidery floss. I do know that because there was some left in the bag. So those are my works in progress. I mean, my fully finished items and my Save the Stitches fully finished item. Okay. And I will be posting those on Instagram at hashtag FFO Challenge 2024, which is put on by uh, Jen and Michelle. Jen is from is Jen, at Jen Quilter on Instagram, and Michelle is Penny's Daughter Shares on Instagram. And I have a lot of fully finished objects this year already. I think I've already beat my my number from last year because last year I had 40 maybe I don't know you can watch one of my last uh, videos of the wrap-up of the year if you want to see but um, this has just kind of inspired me and I just want to thank Jennifer and Michelle for that um, you know I and they're not perfect as you can tell but I do the best I can and I just don't worry about it and I try, and I've noticed over the years, I've gotten better. So, there you go. You never know that you can do it till you try. Okay, let's talk um, works in progress, okay? First of all, <clears throat> I picked up, it's March, and I thought, well, you know, I need to do something with some green in it, you know? And I have just been dying to get my hands on this because I started it last March and yeah, didn't touch it again. Uh, this is Elizabeth Gerard, 1799 from A Hands Across the Sea. And I just think that it's just very, very St. Patrick's Day-ish because it's the green. And I also like it because it's got the little crown and the, the little shamrock looking things in it or at least, well, four-leaf clovers. That's what they look like to me in the middle. So I thought, well, this would make a good um, St. Patrick's Day stitch. And it only uses one color. I did not use the call for, um, which was, hmm, I should have looked that up. Um, the charts are very big and easy to read. Uh, they either said to use a versoix number 530, a very 100.3, um, hashtag, uh, hashtag, listen to me, number 537, or Soile d'Alger 3726, DMC 520, or Color and Cotton Fern Green. And it says it's stitched over two threads, and it can be stitched on Ada or Linen. I chose um, to stitch mine on... 
not sure. I want to say it's 32 count, but it may be 36 count because it sure does look kind of tiny, but I think it's 32 count. But anyway, I've only worked on it two times um, and I have no clue what color the linen is. The little tag has disappeared. Um, they uh, use lichen by Tabby Cat Linen, and this is definitely not that. I want to see it something like up in the attic, maybe, or something. But this is what I've got done. And excuse my old thread hanging down. But this is page one, and then over here is page two. And I've really enjoyed doing this. And this is one strand of uh, the sulky, uh, I mean, not sulky, it's one strand of a Versois. And I'm using 1003. That's the color I'm using right here. It looks greener on the spool because there's more of it. But I just think it's very pretty. And it's uh, over two threads. And I just gave you a lick and a promise when I ironed it. Okay, so hopefully I'll get that done this month, or not. Who knows? But at least I got to work on it, and it's very addictive because it's just cute. That's my St. Patrick's Day stitch. Okay, the next thing I worked on <clears throat> was my Lord's Prayer sampler. And I really want to get this done, and it's kind of big. Uh, this is from Stony Creek. And this is what it looks like. It's got the Lord's Prayer here. And there's a lot of different flowers and little designs and things. And it's just so, so pretty. I'll do this so you can see. So I've got a ways to go. I'm still up here. <laughs> but I'm on page two, which is good. And this one is on... Oh, goodness. 32 count... Mm. Oh, yeah. This is on 32 count um, Winter Brew, I think it is, by R&R &R Reproductions. And this is what I've got done so far. Page one is over here with the hour, and then page two is over here. And I've almost got page two done. I wanted to have page two done, but not enough time. This is a crazy, crazy week. Lots of work and not much free time. And then I had to groom my dogs. So that took up a lot of time too. But uh, I really am enjoying working on this. This is book 467 in the Stony Creek Collection. And it's the Lord's Prayer Sampler. And I'm using all the call for threads except the words here. I'm using Week Style Works Swamp Water. They had, had called for 4,000, DMC 4,000, and I never could find a store that had enough of it, so I was like, hey, I'll just go home and pick something out. So I picked out a color I liked and went to my shop and bought um, more of it. So otherwise, I'm using all DMC threads except for that, and I'm really, really enjoying working on that, and it's just, it's going to be beautiful, even if I say so myself. <laughs> Okay, and the next thing I'm working on is, um, oh goodness, I just lost my train of thought, is Thread Keeper. <clears throat> okay, and this was a new start, and this is Little House Needleworks Thread Keeper. And I just needed something little, okay? This is a piece of Lugana even weave that's in my stash and this is what I got done. I've worked on this maybe a day and a half and I got the uh, I worked on this at Stitch Club last night at Pandas Cross Stitch and Beading and I got the spools done and uh, and I did part of the words this morning and that's what I've got done. It's two strands over two. I'm using the call four threads. There's only four uh, classic color works threads used and I think I'm going to take this table out at the bottom that it's sitting on I haven't decided yet I'm gonna leave that till last because 
I don't know. I just don't like that. But I may like it less without the table. Who knows? But anyway, that's Thread Keeper. And I can't wait to get this one done and get it FFO'd because I'm going to do a wool finish like it calls for on the, on the front. Okay. So those are my whips this week. I stitched a lot of what time I had on um, three things, and that was it. But I did a lot of fully finishing, really did. So, and I had some problems because my sewing machine, mm, yeah, we, we hate each other. We hated each other really bad this week too. It was, it was not good. But we got nice again, so we're okay with that. <clears throat> Okay, let's talk about our tool of the week. Um, this one is a very simple tool, but it's so cute. And I keep one in my purse at all times because who knows when you go to the store and you need to know what size something is. I've even gotten it out for my husband when we were at Lowe's or Home Depot and needed to have a measure, you know, something measured. And this is my little bunny rabbit with the cute little cottontail. I have several, but I thought this was very cute. But is that not cute? And you press this little pink nose. And this is in inches or centimeters. Hmm. So, it's always good. I got this at a retreat, but you can get these or some like these at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, or your, uh, well, not Michael's, but Hobby Lobby or your, favorite needlework store. You know, they have frogs, they have Pinocchio, they have all different kinds. Or just round ones that say Stitch Happy or something. So be sure and uh, always take a ruler, you know, like a, a tape measure. This won't break like a ruler will in your purse. Doesn't take up much room. And um, that way you will um, always know, like you can say, oh, this, you know, I take like a little note card because I used to take my pieces to the shop and I dropped one of them in the floor at Hobby Lobby and I couldn't find it for the longest time. I like to freak out. But um, this way you write it on a note card, you know what size it is and you can just measure and say, yeah, I like that. So that's my tool of the week. Okay. Um, next, we're going to talk about uh, Kira Lynn's Needle Arts and... I watched a video and I'd already planned to do this when um, I had seen it on something else. So I hope you've not seen her uh, Etsy shop yet, but she has some beautiful patterns. Um, one of my favorite were, um, nope, that's not it. Hang on. Okay, once again, technological problems. Okay, we're now going to start with Kira Lynn's Needle Arts. I just have a few of these patterns. I just picked a couple. Uh, this one's called, since I've got Market Hall, uh, Quinn's Coffee Shop. Is that not so cute? And it's just St. Patrick's Day all over the place. So you need to check that out. Then we have Dublin Inn. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that sheep. Is he not precious? Mm, and all those shamrocks. I like the little shamrock border on the bottom. Then we have Irish Welcome. Too, too cute. And we also have Blarney Stone's Leprechaun Bakery. Bless us with good food. Apple, cake, Irish scone, Irish barn back, scone, shortbread, Irish soda bread, shamrock cookies, 50 cents. And I never heard of Irish soda bread until this week. One of my friends from New York, she was talking about how she baked Irish soda bread. Hmm. So I'd be interested to try some. But that's a beautiful pattern. Then we have He is Risen. And I thought this was beautiful. She just has very unique style, a very unique style and some beautiful, beautiful patterns. And I just thought I'd do that just so you could see some of her patterns. 
So you need to go to Cure Lens Needle Arts and check her out, check her website out, her Etsy shop out, I mean. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's talk about the, hmm, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, we have a free pattern. And this one is called Happy Spring Bird. And what you need to do is you will go, oh, hang on. Okay. It's from heart to hand. It's do what you love, stitch. And I just thought that was so, so pretty. So I just had to show you that one. But she has a new website, Cecilia does. So you need to go check that out. I mean, it's got some beautiful color pictures, lots of information, and this will be in the collection section, which I will link below. And it would fit on the hardware that she has, and that's also on the website if you want that. Okay. All right, the next thing we're gonna show is time for, um, I forgot one more piece of Happy Mail. Okay. Today, I went to the mailbox and I got my Berry Club piece for uh, from Dying to Stitch from Erica Michaels. And this is Francis Peacock. And this is what it looks like. Is that not so cute? Yeah. Um, berries are very, very easy to finish. And uh, they're quick stitches, too. So, um... You know, if, if you don't want to do anything big, you know, do a berry. But all the fabric and the floss and finishing items are in here. So, that's from Dying to Stitch. They have a berry club. And you get, I can't remember if it's three or four berries. Um, but it's, um, the fabric is on 36 count berry brew. And... Uh, they use DMC and also um, Classic Color Works. So, not Classic Color Works, Weeks Dye Works. So, um, you know, Ann and Pat just, they do a great club. And Erica Michaels is a fabulous designer. So, um, they have two different clubs, but I do the Berry Club because it's smaller. Okay. <clears throat> And that's uh, my happy mail for today. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is haul from market. What did I get? And where did I put it? <laughs> okay. Okay, I went to my local needlework store and I got um, Frosty Tiny Town from Heart and Hand. Speaking of Heart and Hand. I love these little tiny towns. I think I'm gonna do mine in a drum. And, uh, but yeah, this one's so, so cute. I know we want spring to come, but still, you know. Then the next thing I got, oh, I just found some more uh, happiness that I stuck in here, oops. The next thing I got was Home Sweet Home from Shakespeare's Peddler. Isn't that pretty? And I liked it just because it had the little, I like the little rabbit and I believe that's a chicken. Yeah, it's a rabbit and a chicken. Now, I, the buttons are not included and it uses all DMC. But I can always get those or not, you know. Then I got Holiday Banner Halloween from uh, Little Stitch Girl. And if you notice, she has these letters look like they're done on perforated paper and they they're attached on here with hooks or eyes some kind of thing and then everything else is cross stitched and it uses weak style works but i saw that and i was like oh that's just so cute and it says it's eight by ten stitched area so wow that would be good then i got <clears throat> the mementos of the heart by heart and hand and these are some of the past uh collector's hearts of the year and uh, cecilia has made a collection and just kind of updated some of them here's like the uh title page isn't that gorgeous mm. 
that was the main reason I bought the book was for that. And then they've got, you know, it says a little love. But there's, there's seven patterns in here. And there's like true love. Some of them have specialty stitches and you see what it was and what it is now. Love is in the air. The colors are vibrant, more vibrant and brighter. And okay, I showed you a little love. This is, you hold the key. Let me see if I can do this without showing the graph. Isn't that cute? Then we have, oh, I don't think I can show this one. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have Smitten. I mean, this is a really, really good buy. Then we have the 213 Collector's Heart, and it says Love. Let's see. Yeah, this way. Isn't that pretty? And there's a personalization chart of numbers and letters, and she's got all the kinds of linen and things she used, too. This is just a great, great book. So I was excited to get that. And then the last book I got uh, was the main thing I wanted to get, no matter what, and it was the 12 Days of Christmas Stockings from Annie B's Folk Art. And there's uh, all 12 stockings are in here. And I would show you, but it's kind of hard. Well, I can show you eight and nine. We've got, or no, six and eight. Six geese a laying, and you can see eight maids of milking. But they had a club of this, and these are all uh, DMC. They're on 14 count black Ada. And uh, there was a Crazy Annie's had a club, and and this is what they did. So, I can't wait to get these started. And here is number one, Partridge in a Pear Tree. But isn't that just cute? Just love it, love it. So, I can't wait to do those. I don't know why I like 12 Days of Christmas so much. Then, uh, they have a cookbook at Nashville Needlework. Um... And it's called Happiness is Homemade. Well, I had to get that. And it's got a bunch of patterns in here. And also recipes. So it's a, it's a two-in-one kind of thing. And they have uh, some yummy, yummy, yummy recipes. And some beautiful patterns in here. They're small. And I can't wait to try this chicken Alfredo lasagna. That, that just looks like it's going to be really, really good. So, um... Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So, oh, yay. All right. Um, then, last but not least, I got um, Hands-On Design Gather Wildflowers, the Gather Round Spring. I saw this on uh, Roberta and Lenny's channel, uh, the Sable Stitchers, and Roberta did this, and they're just gorgeous. I talked myself out of doing the club because they sent it out quarterly. And because uh, I said, no, Dottie, you don't need this. But these are cute. And I got the little wooden paddles from Chantel's 141 Designs. And uh, my local needlework shop had those. And it's got the three paddles in here so you can paint them and finish them on that. And there's gonna be three more seasons too. So um, that was my haul from Nashville Needlework Market. And uh, I'm really excited about getting to start some of it. <clears throat> I think I will probably start this first in, in the tiny town. I don't know if I'm going to do Frosty or if I'll finish up my uh, any town, tiny town first. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm really excited about that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate it. And why don't you tell me what your favorite Nashville Needlework Market pattern was this time? Just uh, like, subscribe, and put your favorite uh, Nashville Needlework Park pattern below in the designer, because some of the patterns have the same name, but they're different designers. And, and oh, and in, 
Oh, and I forgot one more thing. Thank you, Miss Dolores, who could not be with us today for this beautiful pastel pink and white rickrack. I am really going to enjoy using this. Uh, it's called Happy Valentine's Day Ribbon. Isn't that cute? She always thinks of me. She's a good friend. And hopefully we'll see Miss Dolores back next week. Hopefully. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And just tune in again next week. And uh, don't forget to spring forward tonight. Bye-bye.